Hey, it's me, Kayvon, by far the most famous half-Persian comedian in the entire world. It's true, my dad is from the Middle East, Muslim immigrant, English was a second language, but we are happy to say we are proud to be United States citizens and live in this great country. And since I have fans all around the world watching America in ruins, attacking itself, I thought I would break down what they're seeing and give a little insight. The main hashtag going around the world right now is defund the police. That's a radical idea people have to take funds that were going to be given to the police and take them away. And some are even going as far as saying dismantle the police. That would normally be a call to action from a far left fringe character. Not anymore. This is happening from the actual elected officials who happen to also be far left wing radical fringe characters. Now anyone who challenges dismantle or defund the police is immediately attacked by some of the followers who say, that's not what we're saying. We're not saying get rid of the police altogether, you idiot. How dare you try to slander our message? Until these pictures show up. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. So why is everyone trying to dismantle the police, defund the police, abolish the police? Because it's the hot new social craze, dummy. This is the new ice bucket challenge. There's a lot of fresh out of college kids who are ready to change the world, no matter what. Athletes are on board too. Colin Kaepernick wants to defund the police. He wants to kneel for the police. And he's applauded for being brave enough to say it. Drew Brees also had a political opinion, but it wasn't the right one. Didn't fit the pop culture narrative, so he needs to he shut the shut F up, up, according to his teammates. Even LeBron James has been lying by tweeting to his millions of fans, every time black people leave the house, we are literally hunted. It's not true. If you look at the actual numbers, every year 10 unarmed black people are killed by the police, which is far too many, depending on what they were doing at the time. But to relieve you from feeling like one group is being hunted, don't worry, 20 unarmed white people are killed each and every year. So if you're worried about a racial thing, whites are winning in the death category. Oh, but wait, I have an even bigger number for you. 90 police officers on average are killed in the line of duty each and every year. Can you name one? Have you ever marched for one? Did you rob a target for one yet? So if LeBron wants to send a serious tweet, he'll say, Police are literally hunted more than white or black people every time they leave the house. Stay safe, we love our police officers. But will he ever tweet anything like that? <laughs> no, he'll lose his street cred and it doesn't fit his narrative. What more do you expect from a guy whose big skill in life is putting a smaller circle into a bigger circle? Now Hollywood loves the idea of abolish the police mainly because they don't think it'll affect them. It looks good on a hashtag. They're able to share their idealistic version of the world while knowing they live in gated, guarded communities with private security staff with guns. Basically the police. Boom! So we know the police force is a minority in this country. They're already spread thin and Hollywood wants to make matters worse. Have you ever considered who needs the police most? Women. Women come to mind. How about minorities who are being targeted? How about religious people being persecuted? How about senior citizens? These are the people the police are there for. Hollywood doesn't care, wants them gone. Black women call the police disproportionately because they need the help to protect their children, their homes, their safety. And we can all point to the recent examples of police doing wrong. But can you calculate how many lives police have saved? Of course not, because it's not quantifiable. Every time you leave a football stadium, a concert, you walk down the street, the reason you're safe is because the police exist. The fact that they didn't have to use force was because they were there in the first place. So when you say get rid of the police, you're actually saying you want more women to be victims. I'm shocked that Hollywood would want, oh yeah, I forgot. Now let's be very clear. I'm not saying black people are criminals, white people are criminals, nobody's a criminal except criminals. And you know who makes up the majority of criminals? Men like me of all different colors between the ages of 16 and 35. What's wrong with us? We need to get it together. Here's one more for good measure, ladies. 
So I'm in the group that needs to be policed a little bit more because I'm a higher risk of being a criminal. So there's a better chance a criminal will be about my age and my size as opposed to a little baby or an old senior citizen. That's my bad and that's your bad if you're about my size and my age too. Guilty! For the record, I am not a criminal, okay? Believe me. And I find it incredibly interesting that Hollywood wants to abolish all the police and put all of us in danger because of the behaviors of one officer in Minnesota. After all, nobody has profited more off the police than, you guessed it, Hollywood. Every major actor in the world has played a police officer at some time in their career. If you think of your top five favorite movies, two of them at least involve a police officer, a detective, a Leo. Not someone born in August, a law enforcement officer. Think of all the movies. A cop in the future, a cop in the past, a cop in the wild west, a cop in space, a cop on earth, a cop on the moon. Black people play more cops than anybody on TV today. Denzel Washington, Morgan Freeman, Samuel L. Jackson, Danny Glover, Damon Wayans, Dennis Rodman. Let's keep it real, that movie might make you actually hate the police. Wesley Snipes, Jamie Foxx, Eddie Murphy, Will Smith, Martin Lawrence. Ice Cube literally went from F the police to I'm the police. Arnold was a kindergarten cop. Tupac, there were hotties from the past, we have hotties of today. Latino cops, Asian cops, Canadian cops, Alaskan cops, Hawaiian cops. Here's a cop, there's a cop, everywhere's a cop cop, old McDonald. It's like a damn Dr. Seuss rhyme. In fact, I contend that Hollywood is the very reason we have such misunderstandings about cops. We think they're bulletproof. You've been watching too much RoboCop. So Hollywood loves to impersonate cops, make money off of cop stories, pretend they're cops, but when it's time to defend the cops, Hey actors, maybe you should speak the fuck up. Five-year-old children play cops and robbers and they know who the good guy is, the cops. But for some reason, once you go to an elite institution and graduate with your degree, you come out at the age of 22 confused by the concept. And you want me to pay $200,000 for that education. Not doing it. Not my problem, get a refund. And why all the cop hatred now? Especially from women who are protected more by the cops than anyone else. <laughs> and let's face it, we all know you have a cop outfit somewhere in your room. <laughs> Where do you think I got this? Special occasions only. <laughs> <laughs> and in breaking news, I just found out Hollywood just pulled the plug on the show cops. It's been on for like 35 years. That show is like the first reality show ever. It was amazing. They did not single anybody out on the show. I watched, they arrested gangbangers, hell's angels, skateboarders, potheads, meth heads, people with teeth, people without. Talk about equality, not anymore. The extreme left has decided the show Cops needs to come off the air. It makes us feel bad when we see police officers doing their job. And ironically, the people who will be hurt the most from the show cops being pulled off the air are those five black guys who sang that cool song we all loved every time the show started. Bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? What you going to do when they come for you? No more money for them. Take your royalties. That's what they're gonna do when they come for you. Bad boys, bad boys, what you going to do? Speaking of inner circles, if you're not on the left side of this issue, they will hate you, destroy you, call your names, and attempt to take your job, livelihood, and ruin your life. But that's because they love so much. And the rioters and the looters that tore apart every city in the nation, they ended up destroying black-owned businesses and killing more black people to show how angry they were that a black person died. Leftist logic. I just think it's time we put all of these bad ideas to rest. We need the police a lot more than the police need us. And the last thing you wanna do is disincentivize good people from putting on this uniform, the real one, not the costume one. The police have hundreds of millions of interactions with people each and every year, a majority of which all go safely. Cops don't want to pull their gun. They don't wanna go through all of this turmoil. Many of them go their whole career, they don't even pull their firearm and they never shoot it. And that's what we want. Maybe instead of defunding the police, we all spend a little time taking a little more personal responsibility on both ends. 
Maybe next time you're pulled over, you can be a little more calm and have a little more understanding of what that police officer's job entails. If he's a total jerk, and sometimes they are, you can have your day in court and show him who's boss. But in the meantime, instead of pointing to cops and otherizing them, get to know the police officers. You might be pleasantly surprised. They might be willing to play basketball with you. They might be a t-ball coach for somebody in your family, a scoutmaster, someone that goes to your church. They might pray with you. They may have the same fears as you. They may pull someone out of a burning building and attend their graduation five years later. They might share a tear with you. They might share a meal with you. But most importantly, when you're running away from danger, they might be running towards it. There are some common misconceptions. Cops are not video game characters. They don't get three lives. They're not trained UFC fighting champions. They don't have to take aim and shoot you in the big toe as you're charging them because you're unarmed. There's only 700,000 police officers in the United States of America. So rest easy knowing that no matter what ethnicity you are, they're the minority, you're not. And regardless of what the media, the looters, the criminals who beg you to stop snitching, or the grad from the UC school system informs you, police lives matter. I'm Kayvon, and you can argue about it in the comments, but remember, truth hurts.